So I've had a couple of people ask me how I get how I do my sort of branded desktop wallpapers like that. Um, there's another one there. And there's another one there. So uh, it's quite simple and I'm going to show you how to do it now. So I've just logged into canva.com. Um, there's a free account for this. So um, there is a paid option as well, but I, you don't really need the paid option for what I'm about to show you. So basically for desktop wallpapers, branded desktop wallpapers, all I do is I'll click on this category, which is the desktop wallpaper. And then you'll need a PNG version. So like a transparent version of your company's logo or your logo, or your blog logo. Um, and there's a whole load here that are already sort of preset. And all I do is I just get a wall, like a background, like a really good sort of looking one, but you can do anything you like. So we'll just have a look, see what we got in here. Just click on the photos. Have a look for sea. Got oceans, there's all sorts. And then I'll just literally click on one I like the look of. Some of them have got Pro next to them. So if you're worried about that, you can filter them out. If you don't want to pay, if you just want the free ones, just filter them out and put, click on the free filters. There you go. And then I'll just put that in. Make sure it fills the whole page. Okay. And then I'll just add my logo in. You can, if you want to, mess around with the tint and the effects. There's all sorts up here. Um, there's all sorts of pre-made filters if you like. If you like to change it a bit. And then you just need to add in your logo, which you'll, you have to upload it. So I've put there's a whole load of stuff in here, but my logo is in there. There it is. Okay, and then you just drag that into the position where you want it. And it sort of gives you a guide as to where it's off center if you want it center. Um, I want to look quite good down there. Okay, and there you go. And that's literally it. So I just make sort of half a dozen of these, and then you can put them in your in your folder. I'll show you how to put them in the folder actually. So once you've done it, um, make make like I say, make a few. Um, there's all sorts. We'll just do another one just for the sake of it. So that would be one. So I'll download that. So I'll just basically go download. Okay. Download. PNG is fine for this. Save it in the folder. So I just create a folder in my in my pictures folder, which is sort of like you on your PC. If you're talking from Windows, this is. And then I'll just put that in there. So you can see here, I'll show you. So here's, these are all in my pictures folder. And I've just put all of my desktop wallpaper in there. Okay, we'll just make another one quick. And we'll just delete that. And then we'll go for another photo. I don't know, let's try something. Um, let's try... Um, something urban, like a cityscape or something. Okay, these are quite good. That's quite neat. All right, and then you can put that in. Obviously, my logo's disappeared now. That's because it's come to the front, so I can just drop that in the back. Now my logo is dark, so it doesn't really look very good on this. So I'm going to make this a bit, bit darker, a bit lighter. Sorry. So I'm going to try the Nordic one, and then I'll just adjust the brightness a little bit. Okay, that looks fine. Maybe make this central there. Just 
to probably put that up there. Yeah, I think that looks better up there. Okay, we'll download that. Okay, so that's downloaded. And again, I'm just going to put that into the folder. Right, so once you've done that and you've made a few, save them, put them in your folder or wherever many you want to do. We're literally just going to, this is obviously from Windows, I don't know how it is with Mac, but on Windows 10 PC you just go down, click personalize and then your background setting. So choose albums for your slideshow. You'd literally just browse and then click on the folder where you've just saved everything. So in my case, it's pictures and then wallpapers, which is the folder I want to use. Click OK and that's it. It's done. And then they will now start changing through every minute. And there you go. So I hope you like this very short tutorial. Um, if it's been any help, then please subscribe to the channel. Um, give us a thumbs up, thumbs up. Drop any comments you can in the comment section below. Thanks very much.